Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building the Too Fast, Too Furious Nissan Skyline R34. So to create this build we are going to be using the Elegy Retro Custom and this build will need to be done inside of Benny's. So I'm back on the PS4 to do this build today because on PC I can't get into Benny's in story mode and that's where I do all my builds on PC so I've come on to GTA Online on the PS4 to create this build. As you can see, I've already got my LG Retro Custom, but if you want to get your LG Retro Custom, you will need to purchase an LG and bring it into Benny's and upgrade it to the Retro Custom version of it. So as you can see at the moment, this LG Retro Custom is completely stock in regards to the way it looks. The, there are some engine performances already installed on this because I did already have this build created. I've just removed all the modifications so we can start from scratch and I can walk you through it. So without any further ado guys, let's get into it. Let's create the 1999 Nissan Skyline GTR R34 from Too Fast, Too Furious. And always we're going to start with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes. Then for the bumper, we're going to start with the front bumper and we're going to go and grab this painted extended splitter. Then for the rear bumper, we are just going to stay stock for this because all the others are just added on the fuses and we don't need any of them. So next we get this option called bumper accessories. We do want to go into there. We've got to go into the bumper mesh and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and grab this remove grill and bumper mesh. For the intercooler, we're just going to stay none for that because even though these additions look pretty sweet, um, like we've got the monster intercooler, I can't really see much different in the, the monster cooler and the standard one. To be fair, it, they are very, very similar looking and I don't really see the point in spending an extra 10k when they look pretty much the same. And all the others are cool. I mean, like this one as well, you can get the one with the spray if you really want to spend another 10k because it doesn't look all that different to the standard one, in my opinion. Um, but these ones with the logos, I think we should stay away from them ones because it's nothing like what we need. Um, but in my opinion, I don't see this the point in spending an extra 10k when they do pretty much look the same you know um yeah so it's entirely up to you guys if you want to go with the intercooler with a sprayer go for that if you want to go with a monster intercooler go with that as well um, but i think true to form i think the one that's most like the one from the movie is this one you know the standard one so i'm going to stay none for the intercoolers so the next option we get is the chassis we do have head headlight trim doors and fenders in here we don't want to change any of that because what we've got is pretty much what we need um, so we're going to skip past that. Then we're going to go to the engine. So on here you get a choice of engine block, cam covers, all the stuff under the hood. You don't really need to worry about it if you if you don't want to. Uh, you obviously get the strut brace as well. Um, like I've already said, I did already customize this car and I've had to remove the, <laughs> the visual mods on the outside to create this build. Um, so my engine block is already customized. I'll quickly show you it and that's what it can look like if you want to buy these different pieces. But unless you're going to be doing car shows there's not really any point in spending like 50k to um, put carbon valves on your engine coverage you know what i mean so same with the cam cover that changes at the front there i mean if you if you're not doing shows and lifting your hood there's not really much point in that um, but like I said, this is a previous build. I've just had to remove everything to add it back on again just to create this video um, So this is already existent in, in my build. So that's not the sort of thing that you need But it's cool to have if you want it. Um, also with engine tunes you do want to get this You want to go and get the level 4 engine upgrade Next we've got the exhaust. We want to go and grab the race exhaust. Next option we've got is the grill um, The one we've got on here is pretty much what we need. It's color-coded You see it change as we go down and we don't need to change it so we're going to stay stock for the grill same goes for the hood it's pretty much what we need no smoothed hood um, so we're going to stay stock for the hood but for the hood accessories we are going to go in there and go and grab these chrome hood catchers so next we've got the interior we're going to go trim color we're going to change the trim color and <laughs> go down to ultra blue this changes the color of the seats and it will make a little bit more sense once the seats are actually changed so there we go, ultra blue for the trim color. You can see it changes the door color slightly as well. The trim design um, we don't need because it is just a sun strip, so we skip past that. Then we've got the dash, and we're gonna go with the semi-stripped, I think semi-stripped, yeah. We're gonna go semi-stripped interior. Then we get an option for the dials. We're gonna go and grab this pod, taco, and dash gauges. 
We're going to skip past the doors. We're going to go straight down to the seats. And we're going to get these, these bad boys. The ballistic fiber track seats. Or you can go with the carbon track seats. They're pretty much the same thing. They've just got different colored harnesses. That's it. I mean, oh, and obviously it changes the back as well. But you don't tend to see the back of it. So it's not a massive deal. So any of these seats will do as long as it's blue. And I think the red harnesses look the best. So the ones I'm going to go with is the carbon track seats. For the steering wheel, we are going to change it out. I'm going to go with the Rally Clubman. So next, I'm going to skip past the light color because that really doesn't interest me whatsoever. We are going to go to the roll cage and we're going to purchase the street half cage. Then we're going to move on to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And we're also going to get a neon kit front, back and sides. And we're going to change the neon color to electric blue. Next, we've got one of the most important things to this build. Obviously, it is the livery. If it wasn't for the livery, then this wouldn't look much like the skyline from Too Fast, Too Furious. So we're going to go with a Midnight Racer for this. It's not ideal. It's not identical, rather. It is ideal because it's cool. It's the only thing we've got in the game which resembles the one from Too Fast, Too Furious. But what I meant to say is it's not identical by any means. It looks very, very similar um, in regards to the shopping list on the hood and the racing stripes that go the whole length of the car it's just on this side bit it, it kind of fails it a little bit um you know but you gotta you gotta take what you're given in gta and i'll take this over anything really because that's, that's the best we're ever going to get and it looks awesome regardless so yeah midnight racer is the one you want to go for so next this is an option we usually skip over the plates so we are going to go into here because we have this category called plate holder and as you can see at the front we've got this ugly license plate hanging from the front bumper uh, so we want to remedy that by purchasing remove front plate uh, for the license it doesn't really matter I mean change it to wherever you want uh, but I like this license plate the blue and white three I think that's probably the best looking plate out of all of them so now we're going to move on to the exciting bit where this is all going to really tie together is in the respray so once we get the respray and delivery together it transforms the car completely. As you can see, this livery looks okay. It looks kind of weird on a red car. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go primary color into metallic and we're gonna go and grab this bluish silver. That That's probably the best color for this car um, that I can think of. I usually don't use metallic paints when I have a livery as well, but because it's such a light paint, it doesn't really affect the livery at all. If anything, it complements it. So in this instance, metallic paint is the way to go. And that's for the secondary and the primary color. Bluish silver metallic. And it just looks awesome. Look at that. It just ties it all in together. And it makes it look fucking mint. So then we're going to skip past the roof. Obviously, we're not going to sell it. We are going to go to the side skirts next. And you want to go and grab these drift skirts. For the spoiler, we are going to go and get the drift wing. It's not identical, obviously. It is a very similar shape. But the one from the movie, I think, is blue. Um, but we, obviously we can't get that in this as far as I'm aware they are all pretty much carbon if you wanted a blue wing it'd have to be something like this but then it's not the same design as what we need um, so like I said not ideal but it's the best we're going to get and it's pretty close man so yeah drift wing is the one we're going to go for in the spoiler category suspension we're obviously going to get the competition suspension we're going to get the race transmission and also the turbo tuning for the wheels wheel type uh, we're going to go into sport for this one into the chrome rims now i did struggle with the rims to that i was going to use for this uh, in my, as far as i'm aware there's nothing perfect for this build they are a six spoke by the way um i know there are some closer ones that are like four or five or maybe even seven or eight <laughs> spoke wheels but no we need six spokes and that's what i'm going to stick with um, like I said, we are going to go into the chrome rims for this. You can also go alloy if you'd prefer or if you can't afford chrome. Uh, they do look pretty much the same. Uh, but chrome does give it that little bit more quality look, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, like I said, there's nothing, as far as I'm aware, which is perfect for this build. So the ones I settled on are the... Where are they? The Endo V.1s. These are the ones I settled on because they are six spoke. They're not perfect, but they are very close to what we need. And I was happy to purchase these because they look mint on there as well. Yeah, no problems for me whatsoever with them. They look awesome. Um, the fitment on these is so good as well. A little bit of poke and then a little bit of tuck at the rear. Looks awesome. Uh, yeah, like I said, not the perfect um, design by any means, but they are six spoke and they look good enough for me. 
And then that brings us to the end of the build, guys. So to finish it off, we are going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. And we are done. So as you pull out into LS Customs, out of LS Customs, we're not pulling out LS Customs, we're pulling out of Benny's. Oh, my bad. It's so, it's so rare that I come out of Benny's. <laughs> and I'm so used to saying LS Customs, it just happens. You know, but uh, obviously I'm on the PS4, so there's no weather commands, no time commands on here. I can't change the time of day. And every time I seem to come out of Benny's or LS Customs, it always seems to be night time. But luckily enough, it's well lit round round Benny's way. And we've seen what it looks like on the inside with all the lighting. And it looks awesome. It looks so good. I'm really happy when uh, Rockstar released this car, the LG Retro Custom. It just, it's just so good. <laughs> Uh, there's not really much else you can do to this to make it look better like I said the wheels are in my opinion the best design that we can get if you've got any other you know opinions down down in the comments as well to let me know and also other viewers of this video if you've got other ideas for wheels or even any other part that you would change for something that's a little bit more accurate that I've missed make sure you hit it in the comments down below to let other people know um, and you know you try out each other's ideas but this is the best that I've come up with um, I think it looks really good you know I, I can't really think of anything other than the wheels it doesn't look you know spot on but that's just my opinion so that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.